What are your red flags? Mm -hmm. Prejudice. You can't be racist. You can't. You can say you can't be homophobic. None of that stuff is. Okay, so someone has all those things, but they're really attractive and they want to sleep with you. But do you still sleep with them? That's different. What are your red flags with dating? Oh my God, my red flags in dating. Eek. Oof. Ooh, <laughs> there's just so many. Red flags, let's go. Shirtless pics on dating apps. Fish pic. If they don't have a headboard. I was seeing this guy and he didn't have a bed frame and he slept on a blow up mattress. How long did you two date? Uh, over a year. <laughs> they got those long acrylics. When they're out here, that's just a little too much. How can you even type with that? If you are like a gaslighter. Gaslight. Dishonesty. Dishonesty. Sneaky. Dodgy. Like, where were you? And no answer or funny answer, and it's not true. Mm, that sounds like you've experienced that. A couple times. What are your red flags? Why shouldn't someone date you? Why shouldn't someone date me? Yeah. <sighs> Damn. I don't have any red flags. I don't have any. Maybe that's a red flag, that I don't think I have any red flags. Why shouldn't someone date you? Because I'm married? <laughs> <laughs> you want a character flaw? I can be a little insecure. Grumpy. I'm kind of annoying sometimes. I feel like I talk a lot and I'm very much like word vomit. I might say too much. I spend a lot of money. I ride with the motorcycle club. It's really hard to get to know me. I don't super love men, so if like you're not into degrading and you're a man, like it's not gonna work out. <laughs> <laughs> I have daddy issues. Big mama's boy. Mama's boy, I love it, but then there's like a fine like Freudian line. <laughs> so you wouldn't want to date someone that wants to sleep with their mother? Yeah, yeah, that's it's kind of a red flag for me. If they're really disrespectful to their mom, I probably won't want to have anything to do with them. You got to be invested in the people that you're close to. What are your red flags? What makes you not want to date someone? Don't like people that smell. Hygiene. If they look like they stink. But what if they don't stink? But if you look like it, that means your aura is funky. Someone who sits without a toilet seat cover on a public toilet. Chewing with your mouth open. Mouth sounds. If you don't know how to eat without beatboxing, I cannot. If they're wearing like the eyelashes, like that are literally like a visor for their face. Bad tattoo. White dudes that wear a lot of like anime stuff. You can't dress. I can't be stepping and you ain't stepping, you feel me? If they litter around me. How's that make you feel? I probably wouldn't date you. Why shouldn't someone date you? Oh, why not to date me? A moody. My humor can be a little mean. I used to laugh inappropriately. <laughs> I definitely overthink things. I'm not a super physical person. Like I have very small windows of when like I actually want someone to be like cuddling with me. I'm like very argumentative. I don't get angry often, but when I do, I it can be Bit much. If you cross me the wrong way, if I want to come after you, it'll be with a vengeance. What's the worst thing you've done to an ex or partner? I keyed his car. I may have burned my ex's clothes one time. I hack all of his social media account and found out that he cheated on me. You just got crushed and you can't undo what you saw, so. Yeah. What are your red flags? Right now, probably kids. People get weirded out when you have children. I'm not a, trying to have you be my daughter's mother. She already has a mother. I'm just trying to meet you for myself. What are your red flags? Well, they have to be single. I get a lot of proposals from married people. If we, we are together, we are exclusively together. Like, there's no, for your birthday, let's have a threesome. Monogamy. <laughs> is a red flag for me. My red flags are definitely not using my pronouns. A political view. That's against oh, mine. Yeah. Oh yeah, you hate Democrats and liberals, right? What? No. No. Fucking snowflakes, what? right? Wait, what? No, it's okay, I get it. No, no, the other way. Fascism. Fascist. Republican? <laughs> Put it that way. <laughs> you wouldn't date a Republican? I would not date somebody who parrots the current talking points of that particular movement. Conservative, Republican, conservative, that's kind of uh, immediate now. What if they're really good looking? Does that change anything? No. They don't want to support my rights to being a human, so they can go fuck themselves, literally. If you're a non-black person and you think it's okay to say the N-word, I'm sorry, it's not gonna work. We have different beliefs and values. Well, I have a thing about Tom Petty. If they looked like Tom Petty, I might be <laughs> a little bit seduced by that. Would you still sleep with them? That's different, that's different. A continual relationship is completely different. You know what I'm saying? That might just be for the ancestors. <laughs> what are your red flags? When somebody 
doesn't treat like their wait staff. They treat a waiter bad. If they're clingy. If a person overly shares right away. Someone that doesn't know who they are. Too femi. I can't stand too femi. People who don't read. They're always on their phone 24 seven. If you cannot text back and you take five hours, 10 hours, don't text me. Drugs. 11 months ago, I was quit drinking. So for me, it's struggling sometimes with sobriety has been really, really a struggle, a real struggle. And it makes it a lot easier that my partner doesn't drink. I think I'd probably be really turned off if a guy couldn't smoke as much as me, which is probably bad. Somebody that I dated walked into a bonfire, um, somehow didn't catch on fire, and then walked out. Yeah, that was a severely big red flag. I'm a little too chill for some people, you know? They're like, the building's on fire, and I'm like, yeah, I will buy a new one. I think I don't know how to take care of myself. I've been hurt and it makes me want to commit less. Because I have mental illnesses, you know, that's a, a red flag for some people. Red flags? Um, somebody with more mental health issues than me. <laughs> I'm, I'm ADHD, so my, um, I'm neurodivergent, so there are certain things that I just, I, 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 I can't be around. My red flags right now are anybody's attracted to me because I'm a mess. What are your red flags? Someone who like doesn't have drive. Just sitting around. Generally their first questions are like your worth rather than who you are as a person. If they're kicking it with a lot of my friends already. Like because they probably slept with your friends? Yeah, something like that. She's a lady of the night. <laughs> I think one of them definitely be lashing out in anger. Somebody who isn't kind to animals. I'm vegan, so I guess like eating meat. Would you not uh, date a meat eater? I'm engaged to a meat eater, but it was a red flag. I just ignored it. If you're a picky eater, you can fuck the fuck off. <laughs> like, I'm a great cook and I don't have time to be like making like, steak and potatoes every night for, you know, boring people. If they seem to be too full of themselves. Uh, you know, the know-it-all is really hard for me. If they th take things too seriously. Not sarcastic enough. Anyone that's not in tune with nature. When someone's like, I hate drama. Anyone who says they hate drama brings the drama. It's a rule I swear by. Why should someone not date you? Why should someone not date me? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I've actually, fun fact, I've never dated anyone. I've never dated anyone before. Never been in a relationship, ever. So I think that that can maybe deter people because they're like, she's either crazy or like really bad in bed or something. I don't know, but. Which one is it? I'm, maybe I'm crazy. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. I might be crazy.